So when did you first start playing bassoon? I started playing bassoon in sixth grade. Uh, we all just kind of started on instruments. Um, pick which one was your favorite. Okay. Um, and then after that, when did you start making reeds? It took a while. It took a while to make reeds. I was always interested, but um, I think it was bassoon camp. Um, <clears throat> maybe a summer, two summers, three summers after. Uh, you don't want to start too early because then you just confuse everything. Right. Like, it's a lot at once. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so when do you first start playing bassoon? Uh, sixth grade. Oh. Halfway through sixth grade. I got a change from clarinet to bassoon. Okay. First I started clarinet. Okay. Uh, when did you start making your bassoon reads? Uh, I started making it probably around sophomore to junior year. Around there. Okay. And uh, how did you start making your reads? Um, my my teacher back in Grand Rapids, Chip King, um, kind of introduced me to it, and he was always big into making reads, so he kind of taught me how to do that. Okay. Uh, I started playing bassoon in seventh grade, so that would have been eleven years ago. Okay. Um, and when did you start making reads? Uh, once I got into high school.
many do you make in a month? On average, about ten to fifteen reads a month. Mhm. Um, and out of those reads, how many go into your like read box, or y- do you use? Uh, well, they all end up in my case, but I only end up using about three of them. About how many reads you make, like, say a month? A month? Um. Possibly four or five. I started making them for uh, Emily's students, so I've been selling them uh, hmm. to them, making a few more, but maybe eight. So out of all the reads you make, how many do you end up like using or putting in your read box? Uh, I use all of them. I haven't made a bad one in a while. Mm-hmm. Um, and, and if it's not, you know, it's the quality of, of the ensemble, and then, and then I'll, I'll sell it to a student or something. But uh, they, they all work. For the most part, uh, and do what they uh, need. Typically, to do how work. long do your reads last? How long do they last? Mm-hmm. Um, you know, I, I've always wondered that too. Ryan uh, Reynolds would always come up to me and tell me that a read only lasts uh, 21 hours or 24 hours of playing altogether, which I think could be right before it goes bad. But I, I think if you take care of it, um, you know, they can start lasting a lot longer. I've been keeping them in a humidified case, and they've been. You know, very consistent, and, and I think it extended the life a little bit longer. So maybe maybe three weeks, four weeks, but, you know, people, students play on reads for six months or... Decades. Yeah, that's a problem. That's a tip. How long do you let your read dry? Um, normally that day, because I'm in the mood to have a read. <laughs> but normally I try, I try to wait as long as possible. Depends on if I need a read or not.
important new tool that you own. Uh, probably the my read times, and I, I use multiple ones, and I think having different ones is an important part. About how long does it take you to do like final adjustments uh, to the read? Is that after you cut it or after? Yeah, after the tip's been cut. After the tip's been cut, um, yeah, the finishing process takes at least a, a few days. Mm -hmm. Definitely, uh, it could sit there a week. Uh, it would be a lot better, but I think the more time you can put in those processes, you know, the the longer you'll extend the life of your read, and, and also you'll be getting what you want out of it. Right. Um, on average, from piece of cane to finish, how long does it usually take you to make one read? Including, like, drying and all that. Probably a week and a half, two weeks. Okay. Uh, it's nice to have them in different stages at the same time. Right. Uh, to just kind of keep them going, but uh, probably about what two about weeks. What about the hardest part? For me, it's definitely uh, finishing the read and making sure everything's properly balanced. And why is that? Uh, I, because I'm right-handed, I have a bad habit of making the right side of each blade thinner than the left side of each blade, just because of how your hand fits. So that's how long does it usually take to make the final adjustments on your read? Um, approximately three days. The first day is just cutting the tip and then kind of just making an overall shape of a read. And then the second day is like testing the read, making it playing on the read so it's kind of used to it and then the third day is like final adjustments.
there something that you want to tell beginning students, uh, what would it be? Um, if you're gonna play the serum, get used to making your reads. Because once, if you want to do it professionally, once you go to college, you have to learn how to make your reads. And you have to make them good. <laughs> so it's the like the bad part about the serum. At least I think so. I, I don't like reads. Just to let you all know. <laughs> there's something you could tell beginning read makers, um, what would it be? i definitely say don't be afraid to screw up a couple dozen reads just to make sure that you know what you're doing. What about if there was something you wanted to tell beginning read makers, uh, what would it be? Uh, I don't give up. You know, the first few don't really work too well, but you, you'll get somewhere. You just keep trying and, um, you know, just kind of taking all the information you can from all the sources you can. Thank <laughs> you.